everyone. So welcome to this tutorial. In today's tutorial, what we're going to make is a sword in Minecraft, and we're going to be using a program called mCreator. So in this tutorial, you learn how to design sword, you learn how to mod it with the software, and then you learn how to use this sword in Minecraft. So let's begin. What I have open is mCreator. And the first thing that we're going to make is a weapon. So how do we design this? We first click on the plus over here. And once you click over here, you can go all the way to tool. You click on that. And then here you can write in the name of the tool. So you can just call it, say, my custom weapon and click create new tool. So over here, we have tool texture and then we have make item glow. So this part here is if you want to add in a picture of your design or if you'd like to draw your design. So what we're gonna do is we can use the inbuilt texture creator and make one ourselves. So we can go here and then we can just leave it at transparency, leave the size at 16 and 16 for height and width and we can click on create. So once we're here, we can draw our tool. So what we can do first is we can change the shape if we like. You can use a circle, a ring, or square. So generally, when drawing a square is better, as it's easier to place. And then here, we can use the drawing tool. And here, you have the option of colors. So you can pick any color you like. So I'm just going to pick this color. Click OK. And to draw the sword, I'm just going to draw it from this way. So I'll just start from here like this. Here I'm drawing the sword and I'm trying to make a design. So I'm drawing it from bottom to top and then I'm adding the handle. So I can click save this texture. And then here it'll ask us what type of texture it is, block, item, or other. So we're just going to click on item. And I'll just call this again, my custom work. Okay, all right, so invalid text. So when that happens, it means you click back on save, click on item, and then make it lowercase, right? My custom web. So make sure your name is all in lowercase, not uppercasing, or not one is uppercase and one is lowercase. Okay, so once we click that, we've saved it, then we can go back here, click on this, click on this, and click select. So this is the sword that I made. So now the next thing I have to do is I can click on save mod element, right? So this is my weapon over here. And then I can click it back on it and see if anything I want to change. I don't want to put anything special. And then here we leave it at normal. Make item glow. If you want to enable your item to glow, you can do that. Then next we can click on properties. So here we can check what do we want it to be used for? Since we're making it a weapon, we can click on combat, and then the type, we can pick on sword. So over here, we can change the attack speed to make it a bit higher, maybe we put it 1.5, and then the damage, we can change this to a bit higher, maybe make it 10. And then here, blocks affected, Repair items, we can leave that alone. And then here, does it stay in the crafting part? We can leave this. And then here it says damage item. Make sure to enable, we can click on this. And then next, we can click on triggers. So here, if you wanted to do something, you can without our mod that we've made. So over here, we can click on this play icon. So once we click on this, make sure it's green and then it'll start loading. And then what will happen is Minecraft will open. So once this happens, Minecraft should start loading on your computer. So this is a built-in Minecraft with M Creator. Here we click on multiplayer, create a new world. And then you can make this creative. And here you can just name this M Creator World. Create new world. Once that happens, your world will start loading. So 
So once our Minecraft world is loaded, we're over here. And we'll click on E, that's your inventory. And then we can type in the item. So type in my, and we have here the custom weapon that we made. So if you're unable to break a block, you can just put slash game mode in survival, and then press enter. Then you can break blocks with your weapon. So there you go. That's how we make our mod. And you can click save and then quit it. And then it's saved inside your Minecraft game. Now what we're going to make is a lollipop sword and what I have is an image and the image we can link it in the description below in this video. How do we begin this project? We click on plus over here and then we head to tools and then here we can just call this my funny sword and click create new tool. Once you're here the tool texture is where you can draw an item but we're going to use import. So click on import and then once that opens what we're going to see is a box allowing us to select the image from our computer click it once again and go to downloads and we're going to be using this here open and then we have the image right over here and then we can click select and that's where our item is here and then once that's done we can click on properties we can either have this as a tool or you can use it as a combat item. And then here we can make it as a sword. And the rest of the details, you can leave it. And then damage item, instead of crafting, click yes. And then here we can leave this as this. And then we can go to triggers. Since we're not going to use them, we can just save mod element. Once that's done, this is saved here. And then to test it out, we click on the play button here and that will open up our minecraft so I'll give it a second so once minecraft is loaded a single player and we have this in creative mode click this here Okay, since we're here, then slash game mode C tab creative mode press on E and type your my and here we have this funny sword put that here and there we have a funny looking lollipop sword and you can use this and if you want to break stuff slash game And that's how we made our lollipop funny sword. Thank you guys very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you had fun. I can't wait to see what your creation looks like. And please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to First Code Academy. Bye bye.